In today's episode, we'll look at some common pests that can damage your vegetable garden. Aphids are soft-bodied insects that are found on many plants. You can see here they're found in cabbage in a grey color. And this is a kohlrabi plant that has the same grey aphid infestation. And this can be very damaging to your plants. To control aphids, just spray with soapy water and they should be gone. Rinse the plant after you're done. The cabbage looper is a soft-bodied chewing insect that can cause a lot of damage to your leaves. It's found not only in cabbages but also almost all other vegetables. To get rid of them, just handpick them and eliminate. The corn earworm is a very damaging insect that starts eating your corn and other vegetables right from its larva stage. Once it grows into these worms that you can see here, they will totally devastate your crop. To eliminate corn earworm, just handpick them or use neem oil as a preventive measure to control. Cutworms cause major damage with young seedlings. As you can see here, this is the cutworm. They just cut along the base of the plant, especially young seedlings, and the seedlings are gone. Cutworms can cause extensive damage because they do not give an opportunity for your plant to grow. Like you can see here, this carrot seedling has been totally killed by this cutworm. And as soon as you see any kind of damage from the cutworm, just look around the base of the seedlings and you can find and eliminate them. Earwigs are small insects, crawling insects that you can see here. They're very hard to spot, so you need to set a trap for them. Just take some vegetable oil, I used canola oil here to set this trap at the surface of the soil. Within about a week, all the earwigs will be attracted towards your trap and you've caught all your earwigs and you can eliminate them. You can generally find grubs when you're digging your raised beds or your soil. They cause a lot of damage by eating your plant roots and when these form into their adult flies which is the Japanese beetle the Japanese beetles will cause even more damage so just handpick them and throw them the tomato hornworm or just the hornworm is one of the most commonly found garden insects you can just handpick these insects and throw them the tomato hornworm will cause a lot of damage on eggplants tomatoes and a lot of other plants and they might not even be easy to spot. As you can see here, this plant looks pretty normal, but there's a tomato hornworm hiding right there between the branches. So just remove the branch or just cut the branch away. Again, you can see a lot of damage that's done by the tomato hornworm. And you need to eliminate this pest as soon as you can. It's a very damaging insect. The keeled tree hopper is one of the stem damaging plants. It will feed on your eggplant stems and stems of some other vegetables. And they're very small, but you can easily see them because they attack in colonies, as you can see here. And the easiest way to get rid of these keeled tree hoppers is to just wear gloves and just remove them with your hands. And once all of them are gone, just rinse your plant with water and you're good. The three-lined potato beetle is a very damaging insect not only on potatoes but all plants in the nightshade family like tomatoes, eggplants, peppers. Their larvae are soft and grub-like and they do a lot of damage. As you can see here on the tomato plants, they've eaten all the leaves and stems around the area of feeding. And to eliminate them, you can just handpick them and just cut off the damaged leaves and stems. White flies are soft bodied insects that do a lot of damage to leaves and stems and they can occur in all plants, edibles or not. The easiest way to get rid of them is to just spray with soapy water or just take a garden hose and just wash your plants. Once they get eliminated, they will not come back. Never use chemical pesticides in your garden. 
I always recommend that you go with organic solutions. There are a lot of solutions available. You can hand pick your pests. You can use soap sprays. You can just use water hose to wash your plants and get rid of the insects. You can use neem oil, which is an organic pesticide, which is also good for your health. So with all these options, I highly recommend that you do not try any of those chemical options that are available in your garden stores. Just stick to natural ways and your garden will be healthy and full of life. We'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.